What's up, nerds? Skunktronics here with another Game Builder Garage tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make a sliding door like the ones you see in Five Nights at Freddy's. There still seems to be a lot of confusion about this mechanic, so hopefully this will help. First, start off with the object that will be your door. Make a duplicate of that object and turn off visible, solid, movable, destructible, and destructive. This duplicate will act as the door's anchor. Set the connection point on the anchor object and the door object to center center. This is very important. Now add a Y slide connector. Connect the top of the anchor object to the Y slide, then connect the top of the Y slide to the door object. Next, place your door object into the position it will be in when closed, and take note of the Y value in its settings. Now, move it to where it will be when it's open, and take note of the new Y value. Add a map and set the output range to zero and the difference you noted. In this example, it would be zero at two point four. Then, assuming your door opening mechanism outputs either a 1 or 0, connect it to the map. And that's it, you're done. If you've connected everything correctly, you should see that the door properly slides up and down when triggered. This method can also be used for doors that slide sideways by using an X or Z slide. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like. Comment below if there's a Game Builder Garage tutorial you'd like to see, and I might make a video about it. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and be the reason for a smile.